we felt, yes, we may finance the flagship project, but we need much more than what we can finance. And for that reason, we felt we would support Rwanda in its own program of becoming a global financial and business center by setting up the infrastructure. So we are here to uh, do groundbreaking for a hundred million dollar uh, twin tower uh, that uh, will be a square that will provide grade one offices, lead uh, certified uh, offices in terms of uh, co of friendliness, that will con uh, have a complete office of 24 stories and a 20 story hotel building with apartments and two floors of retail uh, uh, opportunity for Rwandese to interact with the international community. We're hoping this building will attract um, investment banks, uh, technical specialists in the development space, legal firms, experts in finance, and uh, Mokta, I'm looking at you, we hope IFC will open the African Regional Office, now at the center of Africa. Uh, and the Yulanka, this project. We're hoping Adeshina will also put a regional African Development Bank here. Equity will use this tower as its regional office. So you'll not be alone, Mokta. Regional financial hubs are critical to attracting new investment and getting us back on track. Our country's stability and business friendly environment are an added advantage. And we have in our country and together with the members of our region, we try to keep working uh, at it to make sure that uh, the stability is something we can uh, uh, look up to for many years ahead of us. But this project is also about the future of our people and our most valuable asset, that is our people. Over the years, we have created meaningful partnerships which have contributed to our development. I therefore have no doubt that it will be the same for Kigali Financial Square. You have our full support and count on us as a reliable partner. I mean all those who are investing in our country, with us, or in us. We always tell our partners that uh, they, or we try to convince them that um, we are reliable partners. Once you have us as a partner, you have a partner you can rely on and uh, we will do our best and make sure you feel every dollar you invested with us uh, is uh, going to have uh, its full worth of return. <laughs> so about the towers they have uh, designed to build. Uh, I had an opportunity uh, to make uh, an input in that. <laughs> if you see any bad building coming up in the city and you, you just know I didn't have a hand in it. <laughs> So I'm expecting that this one will uh, come out very well. 
Uh, many years ago, Mr. President, when you liberalized the economy of Rwanda and invited the financial sector from all over the world to invest in Rwanda, Equity Bank was one of those that expanded and came to Rwanda. And today, the impact of Equity Bank on the economy of Rwanda is very clear. Mr. Mwangi gave one example of some of the hotels that have supported our conference tourism. A few years ago, Mr. President, you made another call to the investment community in the world when you launched the Kigali International Financial Center and invited the world to invest in this center. Today, Mr. Mwangi has stepped forward again, and Equity Group is investing in the Kigali Financial Square. Now that Mr. Mwangi said that this will be complete within two years, Mr. President, I think you can make another call in two years. And I'm sure Equity Group will step forward once again.